Today's mug moment comes from Matthew 24, 43 through 44. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready because the Son of Man will come in an hour when you do not expect him. So we continue to follow Jesus in this theme of being ready and on guard, to watch for what is happening because the Son of Man is coming. So we're going to um, explore this Son of Man uh, theme. Jesus re frequently refers to himself as the Son of Man, which is, kind of has a dual meaning. First, by calling himself the Son of Man, Jesus is equating himself with humanity and Adam. And by being Son of God, he equates himself with divinity, so God and man at the same time. In Christ, we see the best representation of a pre-fall Adam, or as Paul called him, the last Adam. The second reason he is the Son of Man is to connect him with the one who appears in the Ancient of Days, riding on the clouds, receiving a kingdom that cannot end. This is why Jesus says to Caiaphas before his crucifixion that he will be coming on the clouds of heaven. Jesus is re referencing the Daniel prophecy that I am the Son of Man and the riding on the clouds is the event of the arrival of the kingdom. So we see Jesus saying, the kingdom is coming and I will be king. Of this kingdom so be ready be watching for an introduction of a new covenant and a new kingdom where i am the king jesus kingdom reigns in us and starts in our hearts and while we have many things that fight for the control or, or influence in our lives we need to remember that jesus should be the beyond the throne of our hearts and in control we should filter all information thoughts and actions in our lives through our king Evaluate and pray today about what is enthroned in your life and where Jesus fits into that. If Jesus is king, let him reign as king.